ornament. Oh, it's a squishy. It's like a stress ball. No. Oh, look at the price. <laughs> Never mind, it's not very no, squishy. No, that's not squishy. No, 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 no. I'm starting off today by going on the subway to meet my friend. It's gonna be somewhere like Times Square area, so it's like a 34-ish minute subway ride. I'm gonna head over there now. Uh, my sister's not coming along with me for this one because she's actually hanging out with other friends, so it's just gonna be a me adventure. Alright, we just got done eating and now we're heading over to Kino Kine, I think, right? Oh yeah, this is my friend from the COVID era. We met over TikTok, like how many years ago? Like three. It was like three years ago. And we basically just met over TikTok. And, and, now yeah. and now we're besties. You know all of each other's deep dark secrets. I like this. Also, Wait, that's so cute. All oh, these are ornaments. Why is everything so squishy? <laughs> My question is, what, should, like, what New Yorker actually has a Christmas tree? The rich ones that can rich afford ones. it. Cheers. Oh, that's Merry cool. Christmas. I think that's actual wine in there. Could be. Let's find out. Break it open. Wait, dude, this is $25. Oh my god. Hello? A dilemma rare here. find. Question is, is it worth fifty dollars? <laughs> right here we have a Minecraft cookbook and creeper apron. Comment down below whether or not you get this. And it's fifty one dollars, keep in mind. But I don't think the price tag's a problem because the memories are eternal. And it's like Minecraft themed dishes too. Dude, wait, you can get you can I think you make suspicious, a suspicious stew, stew and the coarse fruit spritzer just two examples. Like look at that. And it's a Minecraft apron. Look at that. Comment down below if you should get it or not. Now if any of you guys know about Kumon, you guys know of how much of a hell this was. Comment down below if you actually remember what Kumon was or if you did it. Or if you flushed down your Kumon homework down the toilet, because I know I did. Did you ever do this? No, come on. No. no way. We just left Kinokuniya and now we're heading over to the art exhibit thing, right? Yep. So we're heading over there. And then uh, after that. To death on the way. It's not that cold. She keeps complaining about being cold. You know it is what? not I that earlier, cold. You were like, oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, for like a second, because there's wind. But like right now, it's not that bad. So. You're also... What? I'm not gonna use on the vlog. What? So we're having trouble finding the actual place to go to. So now we're gonna try to find someone to ask. But there's nobody around to ask. So we're kinda stuck. A few moments later. Alright, we're back in it. We found it. We know where to go. This actually looks sick. Wait, I can only... Turn the camera I can do a one minute of this, so I have to make it count.
that was a very, very cool experience. Um, we were in there for like an hour, we didn't even know it. Where are we going now? Oculus. I don't know what the Oculus is, but we're heading there now. This is really fun though. I accidentally broke her shoes because I stepped on it. So the entire like, the back strap fell off. So now I have to buy her new ones. Look at that. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> Sorry. So basically what this is, it's just a bunch of people who write down their stories or just stuff they want to say and they put it on a piece of paper like right here. Are you the creator of the exhibit? I am, yeah. So can I ask you some questions actually sure. for my vlog? Yeah, yeah. So could you explain like what this exhibit is? Absolutely. This is called The Strangers Project. These are all handwritten stories that people have shared about their lives. There's over 90,000 stories that I've collected. I share them with an amazing community on Instagram and spaces like this. Hi, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it. Yeah. What inspired you to actually start this exhibit? Sure, I've always just been curious about people and their stories. So one day I just set up a sign like the one on the wall over there inviting people to sit and write. Thought it would just be a fun experiment and here we are over 90,000 stories later. And has it been like a specific story that's moved you like... There's over 90,000, so I can never <laughs> pick just one. But I do read every single one and of they course. come every kind of topic you could imagine. Got it. Alright, well thank you. Yeah, thank thanks you. for checking it out. Thank you so much. much. Have a good one. Thank you. That was like a really, really deep experience. Like I was in there. We were in there writing for like. Not, not us tearing up in the middle of writing it. Yeah, bro. I was literally tearing up too when I was writing it. Oh my god. But we were in there for like an hour. No, not they don't, cause your names are on it, so they won't know. But if you're ever in there, or if you're ever in the area, you can look for my letter. But you probably won't know it's me. Me and my sister just got finished on eating ice cream huh? and now we're probably gonna head back to the room after and I'm probably gonna end it here for today because there's not much left to do so thank you guys so much for watching. I go back to Boston tomorrow by like at 9 p.m. so I'm gonna have some time in New York so that's gonna be really fun. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh, no, no, no.